Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mahogany and we are doing another Sunday Reset video. So in this video, we have a lot going on, but I promise it is super duper productive and I hope this video motivates you to get your task done. And just like any other day, we can't start it without breakfast. So let's go ahead and get into this Sunday video. So I have to wash the sheets on my bed. We gotta clean the refrigerator, organize the pantry. We gotta get some grocery and fill that bed way up. We gotta prep the produce and make the beds. So just like any other time, we're gonna start at the top of the list and work our way down. So task number one, let's get these sheets into the washing machine. Y'all, washing my sheets is such a priority on a weekly basis. I know a lot of the times some people can stretch it, but I just can not. It has to be done. Not only that, but I have to wash some blankets as well. My sons love to carry blankets around the house, so I really want to go ahead and just get those nice and clean for the week ahead. Now that that is doing what it needs to do, we're gonna move on to our second task, which is this refrigerator. Y'all, <laughs> a hot mess, okay? This is a hot mess, but it's okay. We're gonna get it together and ready for the grocery that we are buying to fill this thing up. So there is no special thing that I like to do when I clean my refrigerator. It's pretty straightforward. All I do is pull out any grocery that is still good or any foods that are still good and I set it off to the side, making sure that I check the dates on almost everything that is getting ready to go bad or almost getting ready to go bad or whatever the case may be. Check those dates, okay? Especially on those dairy products. Y'all know yogurts, milks, things like that always tend to go bad fairly quickly. So just check your dates, making sure everything looks good. And so all I'm doing here is just pulling everything out and we have a lot of extra Tupperware this week. So my husband is back at school, if you don't know, which means that there's a lot of extra leftovers. So I tried something different. I bought extra food, cooked all of it, and it just so happened that I bought too much. So we had a lot of leftovers, but that's okay, no big deal. We munched on what we could throughout the week and then I am going to get rid of everything else today. So I'm just going through the door and making sure that everything is still good, nothing is expired. And normally nothing is expired in our side door just because we pretty much keep using these things. We use these things very consistently is what I'm trying to say. So none of this is bad. I'm just going through kind of organizing it a little bit neater than what it was. And if I feel like something can be thrown away, I will throw it away like the spaghetti sauce, for example. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that because I have no use for it at all. And now I'm just going to go through and spray it with some Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner. I know it's probably not the best thing to use inside of your refrigerator, but this has not hurt us yet. We are fine, and I think it works fairly well. So I'm going to keep using it unless you have some recommendations, let me know. And I do like to keep some of this baking soda in our refrigerator. I feel like it definitely does make a difference in keeping your food fresh or keeping whatever it is in your refrigerator pretty fresh so i like to give that a good switch out every few months and our refrigerator was not bad at all i typically like to go through at least once a week and clean out our refrigerator or right before i go grocery shopping i'll go through and do just a little bit of cleaning not much just a quick wipe down like you see me doing here and i'm going to load the refrigerator right back up once it's all clean this is what it's looking like clean space fresh start that's honestly how I feel anytime something is clean so we're gonna go ahead and put that back in and get some grocery to fill it up later on so y'all know there was a whole lot of Tupperware so I really wanted to go through and give that a good clean before I moved on to the next task which was the pantry when it comes to the kitchen, that is like my favorite place in our entire apartment. So I really love to keep everything pretty much put together in this specific area. And so the dishes is priority for me. I 
have to do the dishes on a day-to-day -day basis. That's the only way I can maintain my sanity. Let's be clear. Y'all know I love to cook, so making sure everything is clean and put together at all times really does help me feel a lot more confident in the kitchen with my cooking. Y'all know I love cooking anyway, so it's going to come out bomb regardless. But when it's a whole lot going on, I just can't function. Something is bound to mess up. <laughs> So I'm just going in here and giving my sink a good clean, a good wipe down because we are going to buy some fresh produce and I really do want to let that sit in the sink and soak for a little bit in some water. Y'all will see that a little bit later. So now that that's all clean, I'm just going to move on now to the pantry. There was not much to do with this pantry. Honestly, it was just chaos. It was unorganized. That was the entire problem with it. And this took me probably all of five minutes to do. So I'm just going through and organizing the pantry in a way that best suits me and my family. Honestly, it's more so for me because I'm the only one who goes in here unless RJ or Ryan goes in here to grab a snack or something. But they're never really in here looking for anything. So what you cannot see is the very top shelf has all of our seasonings and our baking goods on there. So there's not really much to do there. But on the shelf right beneath it, we have our oils, vinegars, canned goods, and any extra condiments. So I'm just organizing it in that way, making sure everything is lined up nice and neat and put together. And the shelf that you see me working on now is... Pretty much anything that's in a box so our box goods like our pasta um, or any type of extra little foods that we like to keep for the boys like noodles or mac and cheese or any type of salads salad toppings we keep on that shelf as well and then the shelf right beneath it is our snack slash mm, I don't know how to call it. what what should I call this our snack slash uh work items work things things to help make lunch a little easier i don't know it's just our ziploc bags our aluminum foil our plastic wrap and any like snacks like i said so i like to keep a little bit of snacks on that i love to keep them at level for rj because he does love to come in here and grab snacks and we buy it so he can eat it, so I like to keep it within his reach. He always has access to it, and he knows exactly where it is, so I do keep that lower. And then at the very bottom is where we keep our boxes of snacks. So chips, um, any extra sodas, any water, anything like that, we keep that down at the very bottom. Now that the pantry is better than what it was when we first started, I am going to go through and just sweep it out. Y'all know our pantry is not that big. Come on, y'all can look at it and tell. But anyway, I'm going to sweep that up. And then there is no way that I can even do my next task without showing you what this pantry is looking like and going through and cleaning my kitchen. So let's go ahead and check this pantry off of our list and move on to the next Thing, which is grocery shopping but before we go grocery shopping look at my kitchen it's a little all over the place so I'm gonna take five minutes go through give it a quick clean and make sure that the space is cleared out for the groceries that I am going to bring in in a little bit Thank goodness this is all done. Let's go to the store. My favorite place in the whole wide world, Harris Teeter. Y'all know I love me some Harris Teeter. I feel like they always have the best produce, the best selections, and they always pretty much have what I need. Sometimes they'll be, you know, out of something, but for the most part, I've never come to the store and left disappointed. 
So we're going to go ahead and head in and get some shopping done. I told you our hair cedar never disappoints. So I got everything I needed, everything that was on my list, and some. So let's go ahead and get into this grocery haul. I picked up some almond milk. Y'all know my boys will love it. I picked up some pancake mix, some sugar, as well as some rice. We were running low. And then I got a few canned goods. So some green beans, some bushes, baked beans. This is something that we love to keep in our pantry along with some cinnamon rolls and some Hunt's Petite Diced Tomatoes as well as some tomato paste for a recipe that I plan to try this week along with some kidney beans. Moving on, I also picked up some applesauce for the boys to try with their lunches. I, mm, I'm not too sure. I also picked up some turkey breast along with some shredded cheese. And for the meats, I picked up some wings. I actually plan to fry these as well as some shrimp. I love to keep shrimp on hand. And y'all know I love fresh salmon, but I got frozen this week. I don't plan to cook it until a little bit later. I also picked up some bread and some eggs. The 18 pound was actually really cheap this week. I picked up some popsicles. Y'all know RJ is obsessed. Some broccoli, some mixed veggies, and some frozen lima beans. That was on sale, actually. I think it was four for five. I also picked up these jello cups that the boys love as well as some milk chocolate chips and some goldfish along with some scoops for something that I plan to do. And then I also picked up some Yukon gold potatoes, a pineapple, some strawberries, a bunch of bananas, a bell pepper, I only needed one, and some blueberries. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that fruit washed up and clean for the week so that it's ready to go when we need it. I always add just a small cap of vinegar to my cold water just to make sure that my produce is nice and clean. And so I'm just going to go ahead and let that sit for a couple of minutes and we're going to go ahead and get it ready for the week. Rylan recently tried blueberries for the first time and he was absolutely in love with them so I did get a big carton of those this week. And I've been having a hard time with these strawberries but... I did find a great bunch this week. So I'm so happy about that. I cannot wait to dig into these because we've been having to throw them out like nobody's business. I feel like we've been wasting money on them. But like I said, this was a, su a successful grab. So I'm super excited about that. And this is honestly my favorite part of any video. I love to see people prep produce. I think it's so satisfying to watch. So I'm going to be quiet and let y'all watch it. I'm not sure what happened to the footage with me cutting this pineapple, but this is what I have left. And it's really self-explanatory. All I do is Take the crown off of the pineapple, cut it in half, and then I cut the halves into another half. And I just cut the core out of the pineapple and I dice it in the size that we like. So that's it. licensing reimagined. is it for the fruit and honestly with this last task I was a little apprehensive about putting it on here but then I remembered 
I'm not the only one without a decorated room. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it works. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.